Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going through another iTunes tutorial. You're watching DHTV and today I'm going to show you how to import music into iTunes. Let's get started. All right, so we are on the main page of your iTunes library here, and I'm gonna go through this in three steps. So depending on what you're doing or how you wanna import your music, you'll need to skip ahead. The first way I'm gonna show you is how to buy music through iTunes. Then I'm gonna show you how to import music via files that are already on your computer. And then the third way I'm gonna show you how to take music off CDs and put them into iTunes. So there's a button at the top right here that says iTunes Store. You just go ahead and click that and you'll be taken to the store homepage here. You'll be greeted with a ton of different albums you can search for specific music at the top or go through the various categories once you found a specific song or album you'll be taken to a page similar to this one and you can purchase the song individually just by clicking on the price on the right side or you can purchase the album full out by clicking the buy button underneath it once you've decided which you want to do go ahead and click on the price you'll be asked to enter in your Apple ID now if you haven't created this already the previous video I showed you how to do this so go back do that because this is the only way to purchase music through iTunes. Once you've done that, enter in your Apple ID and password, click buy, it'll ask you to confirm your purchase, and once you do that, your music will start downloading and it will appear on your main library song section. Now we're going to get into importing music from files you have on your computer. So if you've downloaded music from Amazon or a free site, wherever, as long as it's in files on your computer, the easiest way to import it is to simply find the file you place the music in and simply drag it over into your music library. Now this will work exactly the same way whether you're on Mac or PC, so keep that in mind. Also, if you have multiple music files in a folder, you can import the full folder into your music library rather than individually. It'll save you time and it'll import a lot quicker. Now I'm going to show you how to import music through a CD. So the first thing you need to do is insert a CD into your computer. And when the on-screen pop-up appears, it'll say, would you like to import the CD, whatever it's called. Mine's called Audio CD because it's all I could find. And it'll ask you if you want to import the full CD onto your iTunes library. So for this case, I'm going to say no. And by saying no, it'll allow me to select the specific tracks I want to import onto my iTunes library. So I'll just go ahead and import track two here just for this example. And once you've selected either the full CD or just the tracks you want, you'll go ahead and click import CD. Now I usually leave these settings alone. It seems to work really well. So you can go ahead and click OK. And when it completes, you can eject your CD and your songs should appear in your song section of your iTunes library. Now just before I go, there is one more method here that might be useful for some of you. If you want to import music, go to File, click on Add to Library, and this will take you to your files on your computer. And you can import music this way just by selecting it and clicking Open. It'll go ahead and add it to your iTunes library. Anyway, one more thing, if you want to delete any music from your iTunes library, simply right click on it click delete. A pop-up will appear, click delete song, and if you want to keep it on your iTunes media folder, you can keep the file or just simply moving it to trash will delete the file completely. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, remember to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on iTunes as well as more tech videos. It's free to do so. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.